Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, quick look at the markets. Quick look at the trades I'm in. Uh, quick look at the uh, crypto faucets as well. All right, we're in all of these. And that is equal to whatever, 65. Okay, good. So we're in profit today for a change. That's excellent news. Uh, how are we in these trades? Well, we finally have the monthly numbers. Um, and it's changing the game completely. Um, here is the dollar here. Um, it's, uh, they're, they're buying it. Okay. It's up. So we before were only able to go to here, but now we're able to go to here. So we're interested in this number. Um, sorry, that's LFX. Where's our dollar guy? I moved it. Uh, up. Now we look at these numbers relative to these numbers. Okay. It's quite weak. It's weaker. It's weaker than CAD. So we want to be short dollar CAD just looking at those numbers. Even though this is more. Um. Now that's not always the case, and we'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a minute. I need to open up a dollar CAD chart. One second. So we have a discrepancy here. Um, the discrepancy is here. These numbers. Now, because this is the monthly here versus CAD, which is here at 73, uh, we're going to go ahead and buy dollar CAD and we're only allowed to go in that direction no other direction any down move while this is like this this is like this and this is like this must be treated as an up move um, the yen is uh, still massive. Um, let's bring this pound over. All right, we should see all that now. Um, pound is a little weaker than CAD on these numbers, but pound is stronger than CAD on these numbers. Pound is weaker than CAD, so we want to be selling pound CAD only. Uh, our pound CAD chart is over here. confirming those numbers so we are to sell only pound cad and on that note we will actually add another one. Oh, 
oh, we don't have enough margin. We are fully maxed out at this point. Excellent. Um, the next ones, Euro says sell Euro numbers relative to the dollar numbers are oh, this one here. Euro today on these numbers is a little stronger. Euro is four twenty eight. The dollar is twenty three hundred. Euro pound was a, another good one. Um, Euro is uh, plus 423. Pound is minus 372. These numbers here agree that Euro is stronger. This number is weaker than this. This is stronger than this. Okay. Relative to the dollar, euro is less at 1800, minus 1800, relative to minus 2600. So this is confirming that euro is stronger. Um, our euro pound looks like this 804 so we're only to buy euro so this is where you need that monthly number because we would be selling euro pound looking at these but we now know the truth so we must only be buying drops in euro pound according to these numbers assuming they're they're correct and working. But I have been testing this on a super low time frame to see if it's accurate. It is. So I can only imagine that they're going towards the monthly numbers uh, gradually. So um, treating large moves as pullbacks, basically. Uh, we are seeing a, I was looking at Bitcoin here, hang on, where's it gone? Second. Sorry about that, folks. I had some got some guy out the back with a chainsaw. Uh, new chart. Crypto BTC. Here it is. I didn't want to look at this during the week, but there's a lot of hype over this. So um, people are thinking it's a pullback. Could well be a pullback. To, to July or something, put somewhere in here. We clearly have to come back here. So somewhere here, you know, 28 maybe. Maybe it could do that and then down again. Um, but at this point, we wouldn't be allowed to enter um, along here. Um, simply because the numbers, the numbers say down. Um, so we'd only, 
allowed to be a seller uh, on this particular uh, asset class here. So I think there's going to be a lot of unhappy people soon. Um, I'm thinking the bottom is o October. Uh, and then whenever the fake climate change crisis slash cyber attack slash dot to dot tattoo slash bankruptcies come happens, um, it will slash 10 days of no internet will be in 2023. I'm thinking it could be 2024, but we've still got a couple years left. So that gives us a bit more time for them to bankrupt the people because remember part of the uh, the plan here is to create an illusion that things are going back to normal then bankrupt everyone and and that's what they're doing now because of the hyperinflation and the crypto going down and when the gold goes down um, well <clears throat> it's uh, it's going to be over for a lot of people uh, reality check um, I wanted to look at some Hearst cycles quickly and show you from a technical perspective how uh, how they don't how how they do work and they don't work. Um, so Hearst says it would buy here and it does. That's the trough right there, the biggest one. So it should buy. It does. It goes up, but ultimately it wanted to come down. Um, th this was never mentioned up here. This is not a not a high here right said up here but it went it said down here but it went up so that means it's this is failing so up there's another force behind this you're on the wrong fractal so you need to be buying but we already know this before if we just look at these numbers so all of this is just a market because they've got buyers and sellers here they need to bring price back and return it so it can do that here and then it can go up or down and it does the whole thing on a monthly perspective too. But if we just simply overall go with the, the highest numbers um, and buy these these largest pullbacks uh, in the dollar index, uh, we, we should be good. We'll, we're, we're, we'll be expecting this high to be taken out uh, anytime soon. Um, So, yeah, I think there's a lot of people think this is a 54, 54 day high. So it's going to drop further. But I think this is just this is going to go sooner than that because we've got more time. We've got till October. So why would they do a massive pullback now to rip to fix this market here to re revisit it when they can go up? and bust a few more people because the monthly chart would put us just past here, I suppose, somewhere in here. Um, yeah. You know, over here somewhere to October. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's a bit of, bit of that. I was doing some, uh, some work on these Hearst cycles the other day, and this is pretty much what I came to the conclusion of. It's mechanical. Uh, it's following a fixed number uh, arrangement which can't work long term because the, the, the world is dynamic. Uh, how do we know this? Well, because of the astrology, which we've been through before, the houses, the Placidus houses, they're dynamic. Um, so therefore, time is dynamic. So this, all this fixed business here can't work but they'll get buyers and sellers in these areas because that's that's a market that's where the, the nut that's why there's buyers and sellers here this has to come back here when it comes back here there'll be activity here uh, that still happens but we just simply have to do this in line with those big numbers now and I think we should be good um, what else do we have here Here is our, um, got some to take here, some eggs, okay, for our ruble crypto account, 
Okay, a thousand there. We have to wait 13 hours for our daily bonus. Uh, but we can buy uh, another chicken here. That's going to produce us another 60 eggs an hour. Uh, we need to get another one of these. So once this gets to 5,000, we're going to buy another one of these. Uh, so that's where we're at on this. And the final auto claim is going pretty well now. We're at level 178. Um, we've been getting a lot of um, on the on the uh, the auto claims on the 20% on the weekend that they do. We've been getting a lot of uh, Shiba. Uh, we're trying to get Quant and Link to. Those should be um, two of the big ones uh, later on after the uh, the event that we're waiting for. So how do we do that? Well, final auto claim made it easy for us. There's a uh, little button here and we can see the ones we're, we're working on. That's uh, baby dodge. We got this much, this much, this much in link. You see, I'm not going to put real money from the old world into this um, we have to do this from a virtual perspective to create this um, this we are interested in big time so we want to get as much of this as possible while it's cheap uh, for the next few months this also um, and, and, and we don't care if we're wrong because it's only energy it wasn't it wasn't much, it wasn't our hard-earned um, grinding in our daily job uh, that went into this. It was just our, our hobby. Um, and that's how we're looking at this. Okay. We got a nice amount here to claim, I suppose. We got five XP for that, so all these XPs add up uh, to level us up. And the more we level up, the more our percent goes up uh, on returns. Uh, we got this uh, this one now. Ninety one BTT just for fifty space for doing nothing. So if this goes up eventually we'll be laughing so our goal is to put more uh, space into that BTT because it seems to be see look relative to this it's only 361 because of the value of this atom is, is way more expensive than BTT so we don't want to put too much energy into this. We're going to put it more of it into the BTT one. We want to go after the cheapest stuff. Um, because this is an energy harvesting facility, we don't want to we don't want to ex give too much of our energy away. This is good. Look, fourteen. Uh, and I think that's it. Um, I think that's all of them. Oh no, waves. Sorry, we have we have to do waves. Yeah, no, I did waves. That's that. It's very low. Oh no, we got it. Yeah, sorry. Sixteen hundred. Maybe we'll get one XP. No, see, not even an XP for that. Um, but the space gives us so much XP because we've got so much in it. Uh, anyway, that's the video, I think, folks. Um, we're just trying to make this really level up as much as possible. I think if we could get this up to level 400, uh, we'd be pretty doing pretty well. Uh, how are we doing this? We're just leaving the Loot TV videos running on the background and on weekends we're uh, turning on the uh, this this here on five uh, with all our coins clicked 
fill this out and start and we just leave it on for the whole weekend um, when it's on the 20% bonus. Uh, anyway, that's the video, folks. Uh, I'll come back to you with an update on how all this stuff's going on uh, a little later, I suppose. Cheers.